we are going to provide you a third hour of entertainment with a very special song that was written by the man to my right, Mr. Joe Clark. You know it. Oh, hello. You love it. <laughs> what are we listening to, Joe? This is a song, and the name of this song is Space Jam. Now, now listen. L- listen, I, I, I could tell you the truth, but uh, like, like the Joker, sometimes it's more fun if your pass is multiple choice. So, you know, Lake Michigan, <laughs> uh, it, it's still used for trade. <laughs> I mean, you look at it, it looks pretty placid. Are you okay? (laughs) So, (laughs) I am dead sober. That is not even a joke. (laughs) They only have a variety of non-alcoholic options here. Because it reminds me of the time when I used to work on a freighter on Lake Michigan. You see, Lake Michigan is part of a great network of lakes, the Great Lakes, the greatest lakes there are, uh, in in this country at least. And uh, and so during my teenage years, when most of you went to high school, um, I worked on a freighter, um, mostly swabbing things, decks mostly. (laughs) And, uh, And we weren't allowed to drink alcohol on there, so that's a habit that's followed me to this day. And one day while I was swabbing, probably a deck, I saw a man, and he wore a t-shirt. This is uh, pretty common in uh, the maritime attire. Yeah. Tease is, it's a nautical term. Uh, it stands for uh, the, the transubstantiation. I don't know, it was a Catholic ship, apparently. And uh, anyway, uh, the shirt on it, it said, uh, it said uh, fuck LBJ, is what the shirt said. And, uh, and I was like, oh, man, I am so tired of mopping this deck. And they said, call it swabbing. I'm like, I'm sorry. And they beat me. It's a long story. Long story short, though, I started to get obsessing over this transubstantiated shirt that said, fuck LBJ on it. And, uh, and so I was like, oh, that must be Lyndon Baines Johnson, right? The guy from the 60s, you know, uh, you know war on poverty, NASA, the Apollo missions, this kind of stuff, right? Remember him? A guy who would use the bully pulpit. Come on! And so anyway, uh, later in the mess hall, I think that's what you call it on a ship, uh, somebody said, no, that LBJ, that's, that's LeBron James. That's not Lyndon Baines Johnson. It's, it's a different guy. It's a living guy. Gosh, and so they threw me off that ship. And uh, while I was... Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, fearing a watery grave, I started writing a song in my head that combined uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson and uh, LeBron James, the basketball player, together into one thing. And I thought I could take the space stuff from one guy and the basketball stuff and combine them. And as, as the air escaped my lungs, I realized, oh, there's already a movie that combines space and basketball. And it, 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 does everybody know that? It, it's Space Jam, yes. Now there's two of them. T- t- two Space Jams. So um, so instead of uh, writing a song about any of the things that happened there, I decided instead to write a song about the movie Space Jam. And that's this song right here. And so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Space Jam. <laughs> Ball. Second verse. Ah, Space Jam 
is a thing you put on space bread. Space Jam is a thing you put on space bread. Now everybody in the room, dance like your dad. Dance like your dad. Dance like your dad. However your dad would dance, dance in that way. Dance like your dad in the style of your dad. Let's do it. Dance like your dad. Now time for the long monologue. Okay. So I guess uh, when I think of long books, one of the first things that comes to my mind is Moby Dick, which probably ties in with the nautical theme from earlier, right? Look at this. We're staying on theme here. And uh, almost everybody I know has either not read Moby Dick or lied about finishing it. Um, you've actually read it? Oh, okay. When people stop reading Moby Dick, it's usually the same chapter every time. You, you all know what it is, right? <laughs> no, not the one about the dick. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think you read a different book. That was a website. Um... <laughs> You all know it. It's everybody's least favorite chapter of Moby Dick. Ready? We'll say it in the count of three. One, two, three. Cetology. Yes, cetology. The study of whales. Yeah, where Ishmael lists his whole, uh, what do you call it? Taxonomy. That's the exact word I'm looking for. His taxonomy for the study of whales. Now, it's not really scientific. It's more like, oh, some of them are like, yeah, I don't know, uh, murderous. And other ones are not. And he's only interested in the murderous ones. Oh my god. <laughs> Is there nothing this man can't do? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to I'm going to be real honest with you. This is the weirdest this has ever gone. <laughs> and we're leading right into it. You're here with us. You you you're you're here with us. We're doing this. This will never happen again. This is a special moment. A, a special like a speck of dust in the light gone forever. You know, like <laughs> it's gone already. Wow, there. So anyway, cetology. Uh it's worth reading through it, though, because you can learn about, a lot about whales. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. What do we know about whales? They're big. They're big. That, that's one of them. They're wet. Big and wet. What more do you need? What more do you want from whales, folks? Are whales good enough for you? What's your fucking problem? Whales got to be more than that? Anyway, my favorite excerpt, though, from that chapter uh, is from uh, Captain Ahab. You remember the man. Uh, he's standing on the deck, swabbing it, and and he's saying, uh, he's saying, ah, I symbolize obsession, and uh, and Ishmael's like, really? And he's like, yeah, but you know what? I have a deeper thought than that, and this to me is what makes Moby Dick a great novel, the greatest American novel, uh, the greatest American hero, Ishmael. See, Captain Ahab, he, if I remember this correctly, he stares Ishmael right in the eye and he says, listen, man. Can I call you Ishmael? And he says, call me Ishmael. And he's like, ah, you did the thing. And uh, it's like, I have a message for you, a lesson. It goes like this. LBJ stands for LeBron James. LBJ stands for President Lyndon Johnson. LBJ stands for LeBron James. Oh, LBJ stands for President Everybody Lyndon Johnson.
Thank you very much. That's Space Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Clark.